that even in the saddest of times, you're still who you are, and, and uh, there's a gallows humor that, that often happens, at least in my family. And um, people don't lose their sense of humor. And, um, you know, this is a group of very wry, funny people that happen to be dealing with incredibly sad loss. So, for me, what was important is that the story remained buoyant and funny, and that these people are struggling against something really horrible, but uh, dealing with it in, as the people that they are, who are, who are funny, spirited, emotional, um, engaged people. Well, when John Cameron Mitchell was brought up, I could not have been more excited. I mean, obviously, um, he's a man of New York theater, like myself, and um, he had uh, adapted his own theater piece to what I thought was an incredibly successful film. Um, and so uh, I love that about him. I love that he's, um, his work is so emotionally driven and incredibly honest while also being whimsical and funny. Um, and he, and he does a lot of the things that I try to do as a writer, and I just felt like there's a kinship between what John does and what I do. And um, I was very excited by the match of it. Uh, well, Becca for me is a character who is desperately trying to hold her life together. She's gone through her life um, in a very controlled way, in a very organized way. She's built a life very deliberately for herself. Um, but she's incredibly smart um, and funny. Um, and Nicole always brings this quality to characters that there's something going on on the surface, and underneath it, there's something very complicated and deep going on. And she's able to show what's going on underneath with just her face, with just her eyes. There's something magical that happens that you don't, it makes my job a lot easier because she doesn't often need words to do it. Um, and so in terms of Becca and Nicole, it's, 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 it's a perfect match to me. It's just, she, she brought that character to life in, in such a magical way. I, I could not be happier about it. So I hope that an audience walks away having felt a connection in some way, feeling like um, that has helped me in some way. If it's, oh, they've experienced something that I've experienced, or. Um, I'm going to go home and hug my kids a little bit tighter and appreciate life a little bit more. For the film, I thought, oh, all those things that are spoken about in the play, all those scenes that are alluded to or hinted at, I can actually dramatize them and I can expand their world and, and, and meet the people at the support group. And, and um, in the play, it's hinted that how we may or may not be having an affair. In the film, I had the luxury of actually meeting that woman and exploring that possibility and, and illuminating Howie's character a lot more in that way. And, you know, scenes like, one of the best scenes in the play is a scene that's described, which is Becca going to the supermarket and having this encounter with this mother and child. Um, it's now one of the best scenes in the movie, I think, because you actually get to see it happen instead of hearing about it happen.